Hey buddy, it's Crazy Good Time 4 and welcome to a brand new first play. Not for well, what the heck am I talking about? It's not even a first play, it's a mini let's play. A brand new mini let's play on the channel. We're gonna be playing Mario Remix Boss Edition. If you guys know or don't know about this game, it's a it's a it's a flash game. Yeah, we're playing a flash game on the channel, believe it or not. This is one of my personal favorite flash games of all time. It's one I played quite a lot growing up. Um, and uh, I've been really, really, really wanting to play this game on the channel. I genuinely have for like the longest time. And I was like, hey, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's have it as a, as a mini let's play and let's just have some fun with it. I'm very, very excited about this. And I generally hope you guys are as well. Switch since this is gonna be, is gonna be our very first uh, Flash game that we're gonna be doing on the channel. I definitely do. There are actually a good amount of Flash games out there that I would actually love to do on the channel. Uh, it's like mini let's plays or even let's plays for goodness sake. So. You expect more of these, um, but I mean with with all that being said, we should just probably jump right into it I mean if you guys don't know Mario Remix Boss Edition, it's it's kind of just like It's a boss gauntlet game. So you go through these different tiers as we're gonna see in just a moment um, well, let's, let's start off as you can see we got uh, some controls used arrow keys to move A to run S to jump D to freeze Q to change the quality and then of course one through six to use items so yeah and uh, we're here, we're in the main thing. So, as you can see, there's multiple tiers to go through, with the last two not exactly being unlocked yet. Um, and my plan for this mini Let's Play is to kind of have just like each episode be one tier. However, if I happen to get through a tier pretty quick, and I'm like, you know what, I can, I'm confident that I can get through this next tier pretty quick, then I'll do two tiers in a video. But I think two tiers max is probably the best idea, personally. So, um, I mean, <laughs> I guess we can just get right into it. Uh, well, before anything, of course, we start off with 30 coins. If you go into the item shop, we can actually go ahead and buy mushrooms, one of mushrooms, and ice flowers. Ice flowers are pretty stinking broken. They are a bit expensive, but they are pretty broken, especially for some later bosses that may, you know, <clears throat> be a little bit of a challenge to fight. Um, I think the best idea is to honestly just start off from the beginning, mushroom tier, go from bottom to up in each tier, and let's see how it goes. So starting off with the classic Roberto, and also, also as you can see from each of these bosses, they are from different uh, game franchises, you know, from history. So yeah, Roberto, I'm uh, pretty excited. So what is it again? Okay, that's uh, that's the eight. That's the jump. I gotta get a little bit used to these controls, because it's been a little bit since I last played. Yeah, dear egg. So Roberto, if you guys don't know, is actually from Super Mario Bros. 2. Uh, more specifically, uh, from uh, the Game Boy Advance remake of the game. And there we go, that's, that, that, that's it. <laughs> that is simply it. So Roberto has been done. Uh, as you can see, when you do complete a boss, the... I guess the bar or whatever, what you want to call it, it turns, you know, I guess quote unquote completed, like in Super Mario World when you get a block and it just turns brown, that means it's gone, everything's done from it. So yeah, that's Roberto. Now let's go to Gravity Man, which is from the Mega Man series. I don't quite remember which game this guy is from, I want to say 2 or 3, uh, anyone, someone in the comments can correct me on that, uh, please do because I would love to know. That was kind of stupid. Very, very risky. Gravity Man is not the worst. He's pretty easy. It's just a matter of just being very careful with him, honestly. Like, as long as you're careful, you should be fine. Just get, like, some jumps in here and there. Make sure you just get some damage. And then you'll be set. And as you can see, the main, you know, premise of this game is literally just to... Um, jump on each enemy uh, X amount of times and he defeat the enemy and now we got Drill Robotnik from the Sonic franchise uh, I have no clue actually which game this is from now this one you can also kind of like cheese a little bit you can just like keep jumping on him it's really really useful and that's three hits right there. You can get like a maximum of three hits every um, every cycle, which is really good. Yeah, look at that. It's an incredibly easy boss. That's why I love Drill Robotnik, because he's so easy to defeat. It's amazing. Anyways, next we got Wispy Woods 
from the Kirby franchise. I'm pretty sure this one in particular is the one... Wait, that on Wispy. Okay. That was kind of unexpected. Wispy, I think this boss in particular is from Kirby's Adventure for the NES. Can I hit you? Thank you. Okay, yeah. This guy's hitbox is a little strange because you gotta like time your jump a little bit well to constantly hit him on the mouth. But well, once you get that timing well, you, you're fine. It's it's an easy boss. Now we have Krokomeyer from the Metroid franchise. I'm pretty sure this Krokomeyer is specifically from uh, Super Metroid. At least that's, you know, what I think. Just based off of the graphics, I'm like, this looks a lot like Super Metroid. You gotta be careful of this guy because, you know, he drops rocks from the sky. And, um, you know, there's also fireballs that you gotta be really careful of. Also, there's a giant spike wall just coming at you. So that's something to be very scared. Be very wary of. Yeah, I try to be just careful there. This guy's not that, this, not, this guy's pretty easy too. So, but yeah, <laughs> the entirety of the mushroom uh, tier is completed. And with that, we also uh, get a mini games area. You can actually have uh, three mini games to play, each costing a total, uh, each costing a certain amount of Yoshi coins that you get by, I actually don't know how you get the Yoshi coins. You might have to complete an entire tier for it. That's my guess, but I could be very mistaken. We'll show these off later on in the series. Maybe in another finale is like just, you know, something real quick and whatnot. All right, now with uh, Mushroom Peak completed and with us barely taking any time with that, let's go ahead and just jump into the coins here. We'll start off with Bright Man. Another one from the Mega Man series. I remember this guy. This guy is, yeah, this guy's. What did you hit me with? Hello? Okay. Well, that's not fun. Let's try it again. Oh yeah, when he does that like flash or whatever with his with his head, you gotta be careful. Oh yeah, I remember this part. And you can like cycle this too. You can like get a two hit in. This is also another pretty sink and easy boss. Because as long as you can get that two hit cycle in every single time, you ha are gonna have no problem. You you're literally just gonna stay in this dark area for like the entire boss. I mean, it's coins here, so of course, you know, the bosses are gonna be pretty simple still. Like, that's just to be expected. Any moment now, he should be dead. Any moment, Bright Man. <laughs> Anytime you wanna just die. Yeah, just literally, there we go. It's such a simple cycle that you can just do over and over again. Oh, never mind, we actually did get a Yoshi coin. My fault, you get a Yoshi coin every time you defeat a boss. That's how it is. You Every time you defeat a boss, you get one Yoshi coin. However, on top of that, after you defeat a boss, you get a total, you get five coins. So, you know, you can actually go ahead and buy stuff. I will buy stuff when I need it. As for now, I think I'm gonna be chilling. That's a little bit of a challenge to things if I don't buy, uh, any, you know, items. So let's go for Wriggler. I remember this Wriggler fight. This one, honestly, used to cause me some trouble back then. Like, it's not even a joke. This one actually used to cause me a lot of trouble back then. Okay, as long as I'm just holding down the A button and just chilling. And it should be, this should be, okay. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. Soon we're gonna be getting into the next phase. There's the next phase. Okay, now he goes a little faster. Which makes things a little difficult, but not by much. Also, when he, when you jump on him and while he's flashing, you cannot get hurt by him, which is very good. So you get a little bit of a time to, um, you know, disappear. So of course, Wiggler, you know, from the Mario series. If you guys do not know, uh, this one is from Mario Super Mario World, but I'm pretty sure this is not an actual boss in Super Mario World. All right, now this is the part where you want to be just careful because he goes very fast, and if you mess up your jump, your any of your jumps, you're screwed. Nice! Very good stuff. Very, very good. Alright, now we got Flame Robotnik from the uh, from the Sonic series. I actually don't remember which Sonic game this is from. This is also another pretty easy boss. The Robotnik boss, or boss battles in this game are pretty simple for the most part. There is one coming up a little later that is a little challenging, but it's not the worst. And, you, and I'll, I'll, I'll mention which one that is. Very nice. It's very, very simple. You literally just jump back and forth until he's dead. Again, if you can, if you guys can tell me down in the comments uh, which game 
uh, Flamer Botnik is from, please do that. I, I would love to, uh, you know, know. <laughs> and there we go, he's dead. I want to say Sonic 2, but even then. Now we got Cracko from the Kirby franchise. This one, I'm pretty sure, is, uh, oh. That was such a quick death, it's not even funny. This one, in particular, is actually from Kirby's Adventure. So that's cool. But this one is actually pretty simple. All he's gonna- those guys also you cannot do anything against, so don't even try it. They, they're they just kind of there as, you know, annoyances. All Krakow's gonna do is just drop down a little bit to, you know, hit you with lightning. And, um, and then just swoop around. And he always swoops to the left and then to the right. Or from the left to the right. So it's, it's a very simple pattern to follow. Very, very simple. What was that? I hit him so early and I had no, uh, you know, way to actually get out of there. Okay. We're actually having some troubles now. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. I should have hit him there. What the heck was that? Maybe it's best if I stay on the right and then, like, when he comes to me, that's when I hit him. There are times when, you know, he just, like, continuously does electric for no reason. Which makes things very difficult. This high jump guy also can, you know, be the bane of your existence. Sometimes you can actually get a really jump, nice jump on Krako, and then finish your jump and land straight in front of the high jump dude. So, you be careful. Be very, very careful when fighting Krako. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, we're still chilling for now. Dude loves to use his lightning. All right, there we go. I wonder how many more hits gonna take if crack coach could just like stop doing that electricity then that would be you know that would be very much appreciated oh why are you doing okay okay he's almost he's close to dying i would assume just wait a little bit oh come on how are you not dead there we go okay crack has been defeated nice now we have one more boss of the coin tier, Dracula from the Castlevania series. This boss in particular, I actually have no, this fight in particular, I should say. I actually, uh, I have no clue which game this is from. So again, you know, let me know in the comments. I just died, okay. Let me know down in the comments which Castlevania game in particular this boss fight is from, because I would love to know. Dracula is not the most difficult, but he can be decently annoying. Especially when he like warps to the other side of the freaking stage and you have no time to go get him. Oh boy, Dracula is just, it's another one where you just gotta be very, very careful. He can warp on top of you, which is very cheap, I will say. However, you do have enough time to like get out of the way before he hits you or before his hitbox, you know, just screws you over. This guy uh, only has two you know, two attacks, the three fireballs, and of course the, uh, the meteor, as I like to call it. I'm just trying to be careful at this point. <gasps> oh god, why? I hit- oh, I thought I jumped in, you know, at the right time. I guess I didn't. Okay, Dracula's becoming a bit of an issue now. Dracula's not the worst- they're not even, like, that difficult of a boss. And yet I died on him like, what, three times now or something? That was such an early jump, I don't know what I was thinking. That was such an early jump. I haven't played this game in a while, so I am a little bit rusty. But I'm, you know what, I'm not gonna make that be an excuse. I'm playing bad, and that's, that's all. Okay, nice, you're dead. Well, not dead yet, but... Gosh, I, can't, I, I hate when he like, warps so far away from me and just like come on you're making me d put in so much work just to go hit you okay now i'm just gonna wait dracula is another boss where it's like you know what patience may be in your favor you may just want to oh there we go <laughs> we did it <laughs> yeah <laughs> dracula's been defeated and so has the entirety of the coins here so um Honestly, yeah, I guess I'll just end off things now. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode, the very first episode of Mario Remix Boss Edition. I hope it's going to be a series that you're going to enjoy watching, because it's definitely going to be one I'm going to be uh, enjoying playing. In the next episode, we're actually going to be going through the or the flower tier with these five bosses, and if we can defeat these bosses in a substantial amount of time, then we'll also go ahead and take on the feather tier. Feather tier is going to be, you know, when we're really going to be seeing some, uh, some difficult bosses, to say the least. 
This one is gonna be pretty, you know, pretty average in difficulty. Definitely more difficult than the first two, but still pretty all right. Fetter tier is definitely where we're gonna be seeing some, uh, like, increase in difficulty. But we'll see what happens in the next one. So, that all being said, subscribe, like, and comment, of course. All that good stuff. Social media, including the Twitch, including the music channel. Um, and potentially also my revamped second channel. I don't know if it's gonna be re revamped at the time of this being released, but it may in fact be. I think I'm gonna plan on revamping the second channel by the time 2022 comes around, and you're gonna be seeing this in 2022. So I, I there, it should be down in the description. Just check anyways, you know, everything you need. Ev important stuff is down below. And uh, I guess, yeah, with that all being said, I'll see you guys next time. Pops heart. Out.